Hey everyone, this is a rare sight. Yeah. Jeremy and myself in the car, technically garage sailing. We just left Aaron Kasharski's wedding, which was fun. It was it a great fun. wedding. It's like five o'clock in the afternoon. Pan over here real quick. There's a garage sale. We saw a sign for 10 bucks. We got this box. It has a box Pokemon Red. And a box Game Boy. And there's a box Game Boy Color at the bottom and some sealed PC big box games. $10 for the box. So there you go, some garage sale footage. And then after this, I'll have some more uh, pickups, a little bit of a game room update, game giveaway, all that stuff. So the, the magic still exists. Yeah, it does. <laughs> after that one incredibly random 5.30 p.m. garage sale find, I took Jeremy home and then I came home. Uh, I didn't do any garage sale hunting this morning. Didn't do any yesterday on Friday. Yesterday it was raining, plus we had the wedding rehearsal. Today was obviously the wedding itself. Um, we had left the reception area. We were probably three blocks away from it when I saw the garage sale sign. I was like, oh, let's go check it out real quick. Not even thinking that it's 5.30 in the afternoon. The chances of them having anything are really slim. We get there, there's no one outside, but as we walked up, the guy came out of the house and did the, you know, hey, got any video games? Because I didn't see anything out. He's like, yeah, I just don't know where they are. Uh, feel free to dig around. There was a couple boxes behind the table, opened those up and found a few things in there, but then he pulled a box out of the garage that was covered in dust, and that's where a few of the better items were. I'll get to that uh, towards the end of the video, everything that was in that box for 10 bucks. I know it sounds like bullshit, but I would make up a better story than at 5.30, we went to one garage sale and found a bunch of stuff for $10. It, that's, it just happened, that's all I can say. Um, first up, uh, I'll do a few finds from earlier in the week um, from pawn shops and places, and then I'll do the random game giveaway and then we'll show the rest of that stuff. Uh, this lot of DS games was 15 bucks. Originally, they were $5 each, but before I could even like haggle, the guy's like, if you just take them all for 15 so. I said, sure. Um, we, this was from a pawn shop. This is only the second time I've been to now. And last time I was there, I got a DS game as well. Uh, I would think it was Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Uh, Lego Indiana Jones. Sorry if it's glaring. The light in here sucks. I'm still trying to figure out the best lighting for this game room. I have a bunch of lamps over there right now. It looks like it's a little better than it was last week. Dementium. Uh, the first Dementium on the DS. Pokemon White 2, copy of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, and Pokemon Diamond version. Obviously all loose cards, but for, what, $3 a piece. I can't complain. Then, from another pawn shop, um, all this stuff, four games. A little more than I kind of usually pay for PS4 games at pawn shops. I usually try to pay like 10 bucks, maybe a few bucks more. These were $15 each. I got Grand Theft Auto 5, Mortal Kombat X, and Minecraft Story Mode, which um, I'll probably hang on to this. It's, if you don't know, um, Telltale Games has now, I think, done two uh, series that on the disc, you get the season pass, like it says right there, season pass disc. They did it for Story Mode, and then they did it for, I think, Game of Thrones. And um, the idea is you get the first bit of content on the disc and then it'll all download in the future, obviously, once it releases. Um, kind of an interesting idea, but it almost seems like they'll probably do like a collected version, obviously, when it's all done and put everything on a disc. So it's weird that they'll make a disc with just the first part on it and then DLC content that you'll download later on instead of just doing like it as a piece of paper or a digital code in the first place. I don't know. Anyways, uh, those were 15 each, and this was five bucks. Um, Elder Scrolls, three Morrowind Game of the Year edition, complete in there. And uh, this was at the flea market actually this last weekend. Um, one thing I don't have here anymore, it was a copy of New Super Mario Bros. And uh, I got with that Empire Strikes Back. It was New Super Mario Bros. on the Wii, and then Empire Strikes Back on the Game Boy. It was 15 for the two of those. And then this bag of original PlayStation games uh, was 50 bucks, so it made them less than $3 a piece. I'll show you the not so great ones and then the nice long box ones that are in there. We have Colonial Wars. All of them are complete uh, and all of them are in really nice shape, like the discs were mint on them. Death Trap Dungeon, Oddworld Abe's Exodus, Warhammer Shadow of the Horned Rat. This was actually the only one, I take that back. Uh, this one doesn't have the manual. Everything else does. 
Uh, the first Dynasty Warriors. We have a beautiful conditioned long box Gex. And like I said, I'm not going to open all these up, but complete in there with the manual. Another really nice conditioned uh, game, Doom long box. Loaded. Loaded has a little cut on the side right there, but that game is fucking weird. <laughs> Very weird. Uh, Mortal Kombat 3. And last but not least, Bust a Move 2 Arcade Edition. So like I said, less than five bucks each, and to find long box games more than one at a time uh, and in really good shape is pretty uncommon, at least for me. Now we'll go ahead and do the uh, random game giveaway for this week. I got, uh, yo, oh, what the hell? I got uh, Snaggle Fruits and Mr. Tickle being extra friendly over there um, to help with the drum roll, as always. Uh, we've done Bitch Slap. How about we do Ass Slap drum roll for uh, Snaggle Fruits here? Uh, so here we go. The winner of this week's random game on whatever system the winner wants is Aiden Washington. Congratulations, Aiden. Thank you for watching. Please send me a personal message either here on YouTube or on the Facebook fan page. Uh, the link to the Facebook fan page is in the about section down below. Let me know what system you want your random game to be on and your shipping mailing address. I'll have a game mailed out to you in the next week or two. Uh, and as always, there is a game giveaway starting right now. All you have to do is be subscribed, thumbs up this video, and leave a comment down below. Comment can be about whatever you want, but uh, the suggestion this week is, what's your favorite book or book series you've ever read? Um, everyone has at least read one book. You probably have gone through school, so don't say I don't read at all. I don't really read a lot myself, um, but when I do, it's usually stuff like graphic novel novels, novels, there we go, um, or manga, like I love Berserk. Um, Ah, oh, it's right there. And Priest was another really good one. Um, but I, for an actual book, the last one I read was pro uh, Ready Player One. Still video game related, but it was a really good book, so check that out if you've never read it. Uh, but there's your suggestion, but the comment can be about whatever. Just be subscribed, thumbs up this video, leave a comment down below. And you have until 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to enter on Friday. And the winner is always announced the following Sunday pickup video. And the winner is always picked using a random number generator from the uh, comment section down below. So there you go. Uh, you have a chance to win a game. Now, uh, I know this video is a little shorter than normal. I, obviously, we had the wedding stuff going on for Aaron. And I had house issues, like I mentioned last week. To update on that a little bit, the um, plumbing thing isn't resolved yet. Uh, there's two, that's too long of a fucking story. Basically, hopefully, we won't have any more issues, but I'm not keeping my fingers crossed because I have a feeling it's going to have back up again and have more problems. The person that came out to fix it didn't, I don't think, fix it. They didn't do what they were supposed to do that we thought they were going to do. So anyways, at least I did find out that the plumbing uh, does not go underneath this room. So if we have a problem, we have to tear up pipes. I don't have to tear up my game room, which is why, if you notice, there's more shelving in here now. I have four? Yeah, four of these really big shelves. I'm about to get rid of all these and get five more big shelves in here in the next week or so. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then I can give you guys sort of a better idea of how I'm going to have this library set up that I have in my mind. Uh, all right, so the stuff that was in this box for $10, we have a Donkey Kong Land that was actually in the uh, Game Boy Color, which the Game Boy Color is now in its box. It originally wasn't. They were separated and they were filthy, but I cleaned it up. Has its back cover. Has all its paperwork in here too with um, its little baggie. This I thought was in worse shape because it was so dirty, but it actually cleaned up really nice and it's in good condition. Um, <clears throat> we have just the box and manual and insert stuff for X-Men Mutant Wars. You can see this box has uh, been munched on by Silverfish. A uh, little annoying God, a horrible little insect that I had problems with in my last game room. I am not going to have that problem again in this game room, hopefully. Uh, but they were munching on that box. No game. There was actually a copy of, like, Tony Hawk that was uh, in the box next to that. But nothing in the actual game box. Uh, we have the complete inbox, Pokemon Red. Uh, this is in good shape, except for the back of the box has a little bit of wear to it. Like, the paint kind of rubbed off, scratched off, um, but this is 100% complete in there, and there's the game. The game still saves, which is always a nice plus. 
Um, I mean, one of these items alone for $10 would have been absolutely fantastic. We have Centipede on the PlayStation, which I actually picked this up from my own collection. Didn't have that. Uh, Spider-Man 2 Inter Electro. Uh, I wish this was either Romance 8 or 9, because I don't have those yet in my collection. I already have Romance 7, Romance of the Three Kingdoms 7. Copy of Wolfenstein on the Xbox. Street Fighter 4 on the PS3. It was very random. I could tell this guy just gets stuff to sell. Maybe he goes to Way and Pay, Goodwill, Charity Shops, I don't know. Um, but he had just all types of random stuff. Uh, then we have some PC games, which I really don't pick up PC games very often, but I do have a friend who's interested in the big box PC games, um, so I grab basically these for him. Uh, I'm sure we'll do a trade for something. We have Uru, Ages Beyond Mist. Uru is the only one that apparently has been opened. Um, still in good shape, everything's in there, but the other three are sealed still, which is also why I picked them up. Um, the Mystery of the Nautilus, inspired by 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Um, then we have a sealed Tex, sorry, Tex Murphy Overseer. Um, this is probably the best one out of the four PC games. And a sealed Mist 3 Exile. Uh, so yeah, like I said, don't really pick up PC games very often, but I know a friend of mine who will most likely be interested in at least a couple of those. Shit, I'll just, if he's not, I'm just gonna like donate them to him if he doesn't, really, doesn't need any of those. Anywho, uh, thank you all for watching. Um, again, just one random friggin' garage sale. That's all it takes, is just one garage sale to find something very nice like that. Uh, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to enter the random game giveaway. Just be subscribed, thumbs up this video, leave a comment down below. I'm going to film a VGS episode tomorrow at the flea market. That'll be up on Wednesday. Stay tuned for that. I love you all. Peace.